Yo, this is Pinky the Hunter. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm on Timbergold Trails and I'm gonna test something down here. It's quite a good area sometimes for Rocky Mountain elk. So I wanna put up a tree stand here and just do a traditional tree stand test. Test every starting time of the day, three to five times or something. So I get a good idea what times work best and if it works at all. So that's what I'm planning. So let me see. Activated some competitions. Need a shotgun. Need a 300, but I couldn't carry that because I need to put this in. But needed the 300 for a mule there. But if I see one, I can always take enough distance to put down a tent and switch weapons real quick. So we'll have to see. First, let's get there and put stuff up put up a tree stand and yeah let's start testing the times it when they walk on the road you have no idea how far it is these grizzlies where are you it is a male I need females for my competition but maybe it's big who knows hey <laughs> Must be an intestine hit, so. And now I can call in those elk and give it some time to expire, so. But, yes, it was not very pretty. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Forgot to record this one. I was shooting that elk that came in, it was only a single female, and this guy came walking up behind me, so. I shot it. And a typical hunter classic. Now I'm looking for females for the competition. And this is my second male I shot. Typical classic. <laughs> Oops, came back. And picked up the track of the grizzly I shot, and that's max weight, so that's nice. But there's another elk at the spot. Damn it, I cannot get on the from this side. Is it just one or are there more? It was a female, so damn it, I'm stuck between these rocks. <laughs> but that's nothing interesting. But this bear might be interesting. It's a max weight grizzly I just shot earlier on the road. here to hunt elk, but it's turning into a grizzly hunt, I think. As I thought, I hit intestine. But I think I still hear it being angry in the distance, or I spooked another bear, but maybe it's still alive. It's bleeding very slowly. So, I think what I should do is check out that female that called here first. There, so he is still alive. I hear her breathing. Female grizzly are pretty oblivious mostly. When they walk away from you, you can almost walk up to them, so but this one is sideways, so they also charge quite easily, so... 
damn it. Oh, to drop it real quick. I think that's a really bad shot then. Body hit. Hope I hit single long, but doubt it with these bare hit boxes. What is it? Body. Yep. That will take a long time to die. Damn it. Let's go collect the mail first and then we'll see about this one. I have to go in that direction anyway, so. I just wanted to complain, I still hear an angry bear in front of me, so. But I think this is him. Let's have a look. Even that high, 23.3. I noticed with these bears as well, I normally only went after the really heavy ones, but I never really got very big ones either. But I saw on the leaderboard a while back that the real high scoring ones aren't even that heavy, so they're mostly around this weight or even lower, I think, if I remember correctly. I should check that actually. But There we have our first victim. Doesn't even have back tines. Nope. And these don't have that extreme G3 problem that I talked about in the last video with the Roosevelt Elk. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out that video. Hey, there's another one behind it. It's also a man. Expired. Don't care that much. I can check out the other one. That's a better one, I think. No. But it does have a back time. And as you can see, they live in herds and they mix herds. What to do? Let me see. Do I need to go in that direction? Nope, not really. So I can just go for one. It doesn't even matter which one I shoot. I think I prefer the one with the single back time. I think that will score a little bit higher. Oh, oh. You were way too close on that side. Let me see which one has the back time. It's not you. Nice. The one that's coming in first. But I hear a female. On my left. Shouldn't make a bad shot. <laughs> now I got two animals to track. <laughs> Pretty sure this is a long shot though. But single long. Yep. Here he is. 327. On the high end of the score estimate, I guess. I think that was up to 335, if I'm correct. So, I thought so. Because this one had a back time, the other one didn't. So, the other one will be 310, I think. But, almost 60 GMs. Nice. Damn it. <laughs> Just realized I wasn't recording till now. I just shot a 385 scoring Rocky Mountain Elk. <laughs> to be honest, I also thought it was the other one, the small one that was with the other one I shot earlier. So, but yeah, only one back time on each side. 385. <laughs> That's a decent elk. Take a picture. Fine. There is the one I was following. <laughs> but I'm not going back for him. I'm following this grizzly bear. 
she should be dead by now. I hope. Hmm, is that her? Did the weight estimate change? Nope. Did it. Okay. It's not the one. There is another female. There are bears everywhere. I was hunting elk. the moment I shot. No, wait, wait, that looks, what was that? I saw a muley run that looked pretty decent at first, but... Damn it! Not sure, I don't think it was that big. But that shot sucks, it's in the leg even, I think. Damn it! Arrgh! <laughs> Now I know what happened. <laughs> it was a really strange track. But she was clearly still alive when I shot the shotgun for that. Yeah, that 385 elk I shot earlier. So she spooked in that direction again. So finally. <laughs> little detail in the, in the map but there's no explanation mark or anything but I think this map has that more even also red feather has that on some places I think where did my bag go oh, wait. I'm an idiot. I didn't even look at the track I got distracted by this uh, <laughs> this little building be right back <laughs> finally here you are man this these tracks were really frustrating. <laughs> 170.5. I need weight for this competition, so I have no idea what the number one is, to be honest. I'm third. Huh. Okay. Nice. Man, I should have taken the Jeep. <laughs> Almost an hour in the hunt now. And I'm 500 meters <laughs> further. I'm a complete pancake sometimes. Look who we have there. At least I don't have to go look for you. That's nice. I'm out there somewhere. But first, I call in some elk. Put down some sand spray. Pretty sure the one I saw before is coming now. Again, and for real, but there was also a new elk pool. So, let's have a look what's coming. I see movement somewhere. And I hear a bear breathing in my neck. There, I see movement, female. Where are you, bear? Eventually. <coughs> that is probably the bull that called. Let's see. How far is that? 78. That will improve my distance comp a little bit. Let's see. That should be... Can sp <laughs> spot on probably. Gonna charge me or what was that? You are. Come on. Probably bluff charge, but hey, there she is. <gasps> Thank you. At least I don't have to go look for you. 
damn it. Now I have to put down the tent. I will just shot the shotgun anyway. So. Reload. Hey. These are cupids, right? Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Let's harvest this bear. I'll buy some arrows after. Let's see. The weight 164, so not improving my score. Body. <laughs> nice. I love that you can buy 10 arrows at a time now as well. That's really awesome. <laughs> Tiny little detail in the game, but I'm so happy with that. Those are really close. you came from. Come here. They threw an antler at me. I'm gonna kill them. Wolf, actually, I think. Stay down, there'll be more coming. Yep, there is more coming. Stop, 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 stop. It's a female. Thank you. Where did you go? I thought so, sneaky bastard. <laughs> you cannot harvest them, I think, till they stop moving, or well, in this case, they can, you can. 16.5, that's a pretty decent wolf, I think. That's not bad. Why not take a trophy shot? Don't shoot that many wolves, so why not? I have no idea what happened now, <laughs> but nothing works anymore. <laughs> Escape. Nope. I think my game is frozen. Damn it. Great. Wolf was still rolling downhill while I was taking the picture. Quickly bought the trophy poses and then everything froze. So, awesome. Okay, so here we are again. <laughs> Tent is still in my backpack. I still need to go here somewhere. Damn it. But we're not gonna fall for that again, of course. Uh, let me see. I deactivated my competitions. But why can't I put it down? What the hell is this? Uh, I'm not gonna run that hole. And again. <laughs> What the hell? Oh, wait. Uh, I think I still got the... Yeah, I still got the Community League activated. I am a complete... Let's try that again. That's better. Thank you.
was quite heavy one. Screw it. <laughs> that went way faster than last time. Now, let's see. Actually, went a little bit too far or not. I was about here last time. Damn, last time there was a elk carcass somewhere uh, for the wolves. I think that was on that mountain, but it's not there now. The crows are not there, so. Too bad. I'd like to have seen where it was. It might have helped me where to put my tree stand. Not that those things are really good, but wolves do use them sometimes, so. Man, uh, I'm gonna go away from this hill. <laughs> I tried every tree there is. I cannot put my tent anywhere close. Most trees suck and stuff, so I'm gonna look in the valley. Let's see, this might be interesting. There's some crows here, not leaving, but nice. This is quite a nice spot actually maybe. It's more flat. I can put down my tent here. Only thing some people aren't gonna like about this spot is <laughs> I hear leg pigeons in the distance. They are here as well. Where are they? I hear them. There they are. I see one. White-tailed ptarmigans. But, yeah. Let me see. This tree might be nice. Nice view on the elk carcass. I'm gonna set something up here. No idea what I cannot put up a tent here anywhere. This should be quite flat. Nope. But I tried everywhere, so maybe it's a bug how many tents do I have on this stupid map. No, that's not even close to maximum, so I thought maybe it still registered the tent I just removed as on the map or something, but nope. I have no idea. Uh, I'm gonna stop recording before I start swearing. Pfft, all the way back at the road. Here I can put it down, right? Right there, yes. Finally! Man. Annoying. But, yeah. Now I'm here. Ah, let me think about this. And here I could show you a lot of s clips of me swearing that I cannot put my tent anywhere I want to. But I decided to spare you that. Ah, this is just completely stupid. I cannot put the tent 
anywhere in this whole area except on this little tiny piece of road here. Yeah, and here on this this open field here, I think. Yeah, here I can also put it. Uh, I wanted it on that side of that house, so I can look into the valley or put up a tree stand close to it where I can look up in the valley. I mean, now if I put it here. I have to run all the way around the house first before I'm in my tree stand. Or use this tree here maybe. But then I got crap view again. Uh, why am I so picky? <laughs> okay, let's do it like this. Put the tent there. Use this tree I said. There's a rock right behind it. So that should be that they don't get stuck behind. Or they don't stop behind the tree all the time. Or at least that's what I hope. So let's start the test. I've been hunting for more than two hours now to get a tree stand and a tent set up. So <laughs> time to start actual testing. Okay, I saw the video is gonna take more than 25 minutes already, and I still have to start the actual test. So I decided to make this video two parts. So this part is just <laughs> me putting up one tent and one tree stand. I did notice while I was editing this video that the sound is quite bad actually. But yeah, that's an easy fix. If I would have worn my headset like a normal person would, it would be better. So that's an easy fix, I would say. And then that brings us to the end of this video, I guess. There's one for more thing I would like to say. I hate doing that actually, and I never did that before. But some other YouTubers advised me to do it. And that's to ask you guys please to subscribe to my channel leave a like and a comment like I said I normally don't really like that I make content and if you guys like it you reward me with a like or a sub or a comment or all free if you really liked it but I'm not the type of guy that likes to beg for things or something that's not <laughs> how I work but in the YouTube world that seems to be necessary so much appreciated and for now, thanks for watching and hope to see you guys for part 2. There might be another video I do first. I saw something in the Discord today, a discussion that I wanted to make a video about long ago. So I think it might be time for that first. But the elk test video, the tree stand test video will be coming soon.